Good afternoon. Today is May 7th, 2024. It's currently 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, the Lord gave me a word just now. And uh, before I go any further, the Bible says, and because it says, we, we should do what it says, to test every spirit. We test the spirit by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the one who is going to be able to tell you where this word is coming from, whether it is coming from the spirit of the living God, the Holy Spirit, or a different spirit. Um, that being said, this is what the Lord said. Thus says the Lord who was and is and is to come. Have your prayers gone unanswered? Are you asking for my will or yours to be done? Are you seeking my hand or my heart? Do you long to know me? Do you hunger and thirst for my righteousness or are you only interested in what I can offer you? Are you only interested in my favor? Do you get upset with me when I don't deliver what you are expecting? My understanding is unsearchable, who can know it? My spirit searches all things and knows all things. Are you seeking wisdom to establish your kingdom or mine? Do you want to know great and mighty things to exhibit my glory on the earth or so you can secure your own? What is the motive behind your prayers? I will never answer a selfish prayer that doesn't take other people into consideration. I will never answer a prayer that's not done in faith. Why would you ask if you are not believing for your petition? Faithless prayers do not move heaven to respond. Without faith, it is impossible to please me. Are you praying with bitterness, resentment, and grudges in your heart? What have I told you you are to do when this happens? Have I not commanded you to forgive 70 times 7? Have I not forgiven you? Offense should have no place in your heart. You are supposed to take these thoughts captive, reject them, rebuke them, resist the devil, and he will flee. You cannot partner up with darkness and then ask me to free you from it. You must renounce your ways, turn from them. I am faithful and just to forgive you and cleanse you of all unrighteousness, a broken spirit and a contrite heart I will not despise. I exalt the humble, but I oppose the proud. Pride is what keeps you from admitting when you are the problem. Why are you always praying for other people and the changes you want to see in them, but not your own heart? Have I not told you that your heart is deceptive and wicked? You must pray for a heart more like mine. You must pray for a heart of flesh a heart of compassion, a heart full of my tender mercies. I will fill your heart with my love if you ask. I'll fill it to overflowing the more that you seek me. Those who seek me will always find me, unless you ask amiss with selfish and evil intentions. I will never answer such a prayer. I love selfless prayers and will move on them swiftly to accomplish my will. You have brought to me all your petitions and requests, but how often do you intercede for the brethren, for the lost, for the youth, for the children, for your church, missionaries, and the people being persecuted in other countries? Another reason your prayers have gone unanswered is your adulterous affairs. Husbands are to love their wives as Christ loved the church. Is it loving to be deceitful? Is it loving to make promises to honor her and then break those same promises you made before me? Is it loving to share your bed and defile it with a woman of the streets? Or do you not know that you are joining yourself and becoming one flesh with an immoral and adulterous woman? Confess your guilt and then bring me your requests after you have repented of such sneaky and underhanded ways. Then and only then will I answer your prayer. Are you searching your heart by my spirit? Are you asking the Holy Spirit to show you what's in yours and creating you a clean heart? These are the hidden faults you need to be cleansed of. The unaddressed 
venomous poison that you are harboring in your hearts, some in ignorance and some driven by entitlement. You are not entitled to hold grudges. I will never justify such a thing. You must be reconciled to your brother or whoever has caused you this offense. Anger is a mighty foothold for the devil. I have told you in my word, do not let the sun go down on your anger. He emphasized the not. When you do, when you do so, you are opening yourself up to a vicious attack from the enemy who comes to steal, kill, and destroy all things concerning you. Resist the devil and he will flee as he always does. When the enemy comes in like a flood, my spirit will raise up a standard. You have much more for you than you have against you. Are you praying for angelic assistance? Do not, he emphasized that again, pray to angels directly. Ask me to send the help you need. The fervent prayers of the righteous availeth much. My word doesn't come back to me empty. I give a command and who can turn it back? I am the Lord. Whatever I please, I do. Who are you to contend with your maker and say, I am doing it wrong? Have I not commanded you be strong and courageous and seek my will? Pray for my will to be done on earth as it is in heaven. Gather in unity and petition heaven for where two or more are gathered in my name. There I am in the midst of them. And if two or more agree on anything on earth, that is my most perfect will, it shall be done. I will never bless the desires of your own heart when they aren't aligned with mine, says the sovereign Lord, who even the wind and waves obey.